Okay, what is up everybody? This is Ray from Rated R Reviews and I'm doing a review like at 4 o'clock in the morning just because uh, I couldn't sleep and I think it was better to do. So, uh, so yeah, about a few, maybe about a week and a half ago, I was going to say a few days ago, more like a week and a half, um, I saw the latest Anne Hathaway movie called Colossal. Uh, Anne Hathaway pretty much plays uh, a drunk college girl, but she's not really a college girl, she's already in like her late 20s, early 30s, and she's kind of trying to get like a lease on life after her boyfriend dumps her because she's constantly being drunk, constantly going out, and not really being around for him. So she decides to go back to her old neighborhood to live in her old house. She comes across an old friend named Oscar, played by Jason Sudeikis. Um, he's usually one of the guys from SNL. Uh, it's pretty funny. Coverage, news coverage of a monster being... Um, um, in Seoul, China, I believe, or Seoul, Japan, I, I, I can't remember right now, but, um, but yeah, they realize the monster is destroying the town, and people are dying, and killing thousands of people, and she goes back to her drunk life, wondering, oh, what's going on, what, what what's the meaning of life, what is this, and the third, whatever, blah, 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 so, um, in a way, the, the monster, I don't want to give away too much, I don't want to give any spoilers, but the, the, she is linked to the monster, Whatever her movements are, the monster does on the other side of the world, and he's destroying things while she's just trying to live her life. Um, it's kind of creepy, kind of weird, and at the same time, I'm just like, what? Like, I'm not really buying the movie that much. And um, her performance is great, though. Anne Hathaway acting in this movie, she's good in pretty much everything she does. Um, so she did a good job on this one. Um, but the story is kind of hokey. It's kind of like a superhero, super monster. It's like a superhero monster movie slash coming of age, late in life slash chick flick. Um, it just has some some. It's something about it that's weird and different. Not necessarily a, a bad thing or a good thing. Um, it is original. I'll give you that much. Um, Jason Sudeikis, his performance is kind of un uneven because at first you think he has a thing for her, and then she winds up being with someone else, and he starts flipping out and start starts acting erratic and pretty abusive. Actually, kind of actually scary. Um, which um, I guess it kind of shows, even though he's uneven in the movie, it kind of shows that he as an actor can play a different role. So maybe he should do some uh, some more dramatic stuff down the line, but um, but yeah, Colossal is a movie. I wouldn't go out running to the theaters to see it. I don't, I don't don't even think it's still in the theaters. But um, if you watch it on a Sunday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, have nothing to do, it's on. You watch it. It's decent. It's okay. I did really like the ending because the ending was actually what I was thinking of. Oh, they should end it like this, but are they? Are they gonna end it like this? Or is it gonna be the cookie cutter ending, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden it ended in an original way and I was like, ah, I like that even better. So um, yeah, check out Colossal as it comes along. Like don't don't set, a, don't set time aside to be like, ah, this is, I've gotta watch Colossal now. It's not like one of those movies where you're highly anticipating, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, decent flick. If it comes on, rainy day, check it out. Okay, I'm Ray from Radar Reviews. Please like, please subscribe, please come back. I shot this whole thing on my phone um, because my cameras, all my camera batteries are dead. And I didn't want to wait an hour to charge everything up. So, hopefully you guys like this review. Okay, peace out. Yeah, real quick, one more thing about the movie. Um... Within the confines of the movie, or the characters' complications with each other and everything, there winds up being more than just one monster. So you get to see a pretty cool little monster fight and a relationship battle. That probably spoiled something. Anyway, peace. <laughs>